Hello, my name is Dr. A.K. Singh. I am a senior in consultant endocrinologist uh, at GD Diabetes Hospital in Calcutta. Uh, today, uh, we are discussing about uh, cardiovascular safety of sulfonylurea, uh, in particular in the context of uh, Carolina trial, which was recently presented uh, at ADA in San Francisco. Uh, uh, this was the trial which we looked for a uh, very long because uh, perhaps this was the first dedicated uh, cardiovascular outcome trials of glimepiride uh, where it was compared to one of the DPP-4 inhibitor linagliptin. And uh, this trial was done a uh, fairly long for median 6.3 years uh, and uh, was uh, good to see that uh, glimepiride was as good as linagliptin as far as the you know cardiovascular risk is concerned. So, there was no signal whatsoever uh, with glimepiride compared to linagliptin in this Carolina head to head trial. It was also good to see that uh, glimepiride was uh, highly uh, you know durable uh, because earlier we had a question on sulfonylurea's durability. So, this trial also perhaps taught us that uh, glimepiride uh, is working as good as linagliptin uh, till the trial ended with a median 6.3 years. Uh, so, this was the two positive aspect uh, from the sulfonylurea perspective and we are uh, really happy uh, because this is the drug which is cheap you know completely inexpensive in the sense when you compare with other uh, anti-diabetic drugs. And we are using it for quite a long time without knowing the cardiovascular safety uh, of this particular drug. So, uh, this was a great sigh of relief from our perspective country like India where a uh, majority of our patient uh, is paying from their pocket. It is not an insurance based uh, treatment plan like developed country. So, naturally we need to, to know the cardiovascular safety of this particular drug and Carolina taught us that glimepiride is as good as cardiovascular neutral like linagliptin. Although there was a uh, threefold higher hypoglycemia with glimepiride compared to linagliptin, uh, which we expected because uh, sulfonylurea's mechanism of action is completely different from linagliptin or DPP-4 inhibitor in the sense that uh, DPP-4 inhibitor lowers glucose through glucose dependent pathway, whereas uh, sulfonylurea uh, is glucose independent uh, lowering properties. So, in that sense uh, uh, there was no surprise that uh, glimepiride had threefold higher hypoglycemia than linagliptin. Uh, but the good thing was uh, the hypoglycemia which required hospitalization was not that far uh, in the glimepiride arm. It was 0.9 percent higher with glimepiride compared to linagliptin. Also, it was surprising to find out that uh, there was a signals although it was not statistically significant, but somehow uh, there was increased heart failure signals with linagliptin uh, in Carolina. The HR was 1.22 although the p value was not significant, but it was a surprise outcome uh, with linagliptin uh, because in earlier trial uh, Carmelina compared to placebo linagliptin did not show any signals of heart failure. But uh, uh, unfortunately in head to head trial with glimepiride. Uh, this signal came out, although it is not a statistically significant, but we need to dwell little deeper into this heart failure, uh, your noise with linagliptin. So, more or less this the trial suggested that glimepiride is as good as linagliptin as far as CV safety is concerned. Now, uh, one point which uh, uh, we were always asking that uh, we have got another sulfonylurea called glyclazide. Uh, so, how does glyclazide fits into uh, this treatment plan after this Carolina trial. Well, uh, I would like to tell you that glyclazide uh, has got uh, you know one additional advantage that it causes less hypoglycemia than glimepiride. We do have head to head trial of glyclazide and glimepiride in the guide study where there were 50 percent less hypoglycemia with glyclazide compared to glimepiride. 
So, the, in the Carolina, the whatever hypoglycemia happened in the glimepiride uh, may not have happened if the glyclazide would have been compared to linagliptin. And we have earlier trial with uh, glyclazide in advance where the glyclazide based intensive arm uh, had 21 percent lower incidence of diabetic nephropathy uh, compared to non-sulfonylurea arm. So, glyclazide had already one microvascular endpoint data in the form of advanced trial. So, I would say that both glyclazide and glimepiride now competes with each other as far as CB safety is concerned. But in one hand glyclazide uh, in particular the glyclazide MR preparation cause less hypoglycemia than glimepiride uh, and both are now cardiovascular safe. Uh, so, I would perhaps you know give uh, equal point to both molecules.